He's a farmer by profession. Neil learned to douse at age 16. He sees a link between the rise of disease and negative qualities in the land and EMFs in the air. Neil began a quest for ways to release the energetics causing people to have dis-ease. He's used his love of miracles triangle on people of all ages, including children, babies, and even dogs and with horses. sieges. Pardon? And, and horses. Well, he didn't tell me. Didn't, I'm you, sorry, it's not there. That's not here, but well, <laughs> horses too, okay? Neil, uh, he'll be speaking on the love of miracles triangle, a tool he used to assist people to experience healing. He'll also report on some of his experiences and results obtained by his methods. Now, listen closely on this, because Neil's three-hour post-conference workshop on Sunday is entitled, Experience the Healings with Love of Miracles Triangle. Each and every person will learn how to heal themselves with the Love of Miracles Triangle. Please welcome our afternoon speaker, Neil Anderson. I started dowsing at the age of 16, not that I carried it on because I was too involved with work, but I've shown how to douse for water at the age of 16 and find the depth of it. And that's about pretty much all I knew uh, at that point in time. Um, I've been a dairy farmer uh, most of my life and still am. We have a cash crop operation also, and um, on our farm we were challenged heavily with electromagnetic fields. Um, <clears throat> going to going back before this, when I got into dowsing, I had something affecting me that I did not know what it was, and it was something kicking me in the butt trying to get me to move forward, I guess, clear the negativity that I had created within myself. My body was so full of it that I did not know this at the time. And if you know Harold McCoy, he does what they call the zipper hit on people. And Gary Skillings, who has passed, did the zipper hit on me. And I released energies totally from the tips of my toes through my whole body. And, um, I, I, Gary Skillings is how I got involved in dowsing more than what I knew was I went to a school that he give and then I went and uh, found out about the Canadian Society of Dowsers, went to the American Society of Dowsers and uh, uh, ended up finding out about a Lone Star Convention down in uh, Houston, Texas. I went to that and that's where I found out about ORI. Uh, um, in, uh, Ozark Research Institute and uh, went there and then I joined it later on and have been back there many times and taken whatever it was that I needed from the metaphysical world to move ahead. And uh, um, clearing myself was the big thing first because I had to, I had to uh, get rid of what I had created and uh, I'm not saying I've done that yet but uh, I'm a whole lot different now than what I was back then and so on our farm um, we had troubles and we had significant trouble and the trouble was electromagnetic fields and the electromagnetic fields um, I'll just give you some insight on it how it affected us. It affected me with my shoulders and arms that they were absolutely just about useless. We were milking, I don't know, 45 cows and doing the rest of the work at that time, which we still are now. Um, and uh, my wife's immune system, you can see in her eyes that her immune system was affected tremendously by it because her system became clogged and we found someone that knew how to get the system in motion again or, or move the energies out of, out of the lymph glands. And my son's nose would bleed at night when the electromagnetic fields were uh, probably highest because of the transmissions that take place. As I understand, they do the paperwork 
Some of these towers do more paperwork at night than they do in the day, and these are cell towers. In Branchford, where the cell tower was located, was near St. Joe's Hospital. It's still there, but it's not a hospital today. It's a, it's a, a retirement home for the elderly. And in Simcoe, Ontario, is where the other tower was that they were transmitting across to. There could have been other towers, but we were in the line of fire to do with these towers. And <clears throat> come to find out, I have been in Houston uh, three times. When I was in Houston the last time is how I found out about how to solve electromagnetic fields. And the electromagnetic fields, um, this lady, I was, I was taken to this lady's place to help her because it was, it, she was being challenged significantly with electromagnetic fields in her home. And I walked the perimeter of her home and it was saturated with these electromagnetic fields. You can literally douse, with, take your L rods and walk the perimeter and find the uh, fields, uh, the paths that go through the house. Myself, I would not have liked to have lived there. She was, and what it did to her was, um, she lost a lot of weight. She could only eat brown rice and uh, green beans. And um, I had found out uh, just before I went to her place when I was in Oklahoma how to solve this situation. And I went to her place and, uh, in Houston, who I was taken to, and I, ha I didn't know I was going to have this experience at all, but we did because another lady had taken me and they asked me to go and, and make this correction or see what I could find out. And the house was surrounded with electromagnetic fields, paths, and creating this energy, and it was affecting her. And the reason it was affecting her was because, or, or how it was affecting her, how it happened was there was a lady in Colorado who gave her husband what you call an Amiga. Now, we could never ever find this, but the Omega was like a handlebar mustache. And the intent of this person in Colorado, in my opinion, was to take this lady down because this lady could make formulations and help people with these formulations where this other person in Colorado, she had the credentials or the um, letters behind or in front of her name. And so anyways, that night when I was there, um, she wanted me to go to an astrology class and, with her. So we went to the astrology class and, um, uh, well actually before we went to the astrology class, we went around the house and this lady that owned the house mentioned this person's name. And I said, do you mean you know that person too? And she said, yes. And I said, well... Okay, I said, I believe I know how to solve this problem, and so what I did was I asked for the purification of the mind of this person uh, that was causing the problem. And if I am right, the energies will be dissolved and gone when we come back. When we went to the astrology class, come back, and the energies were gone. So that proved to me that it was people and the same in our own situation, and there's a lot of other situations around. People are the cause of electromagnetic fields. When they have negative thoughts, the energies um, come from their minds or gets stuck in their mind over the negative thought, and it actually uh, they create energy and it goes from their mind. And what happens? In my views, there may be one, there may be ten, there may be a hundred people. And some of these situations can be pretty severe. And the, the energy goes from the mind to Mother Earth and it makes like a cesspool. And it, in the cesspool, it is really garbage energy. And then these energies physically travel, can travel in Mother Earth. And the week before the Columbine incident, I was in 
the Columbine area in Colorado and the energy that was there to me was very putrid and it turned me green it would just about make me sick. Uh, so I had to get out of that area because I could not stand it. And uh, I was staying with a lady in the Evergreen area at that time. So coming back to our own home, our own lands, with the cell towers that transmit energy from Brantford to Simcoe or Simcoe to Brantford, we are we're in the line of fire. And the man that I found to help us at that time was a dowser. He's in his probably in his 80s now, but he was uh, he was a dowser. And what we had to do to get ourselves out of the situation. Another thing, my wife and I, we were kind of like walking zombies. We couldn't think straight, function, and, and uh, talk straight. And the, um, the uh, dowser that I found, what we did at that time was we wrapped our house with copper wire. And the calf hutch area we had, we wrapped with copper wire. The cow, the cow barn and the barnyard area, we also wrapped with a ground wire that you use in electrical uh, situations when they do electrical and you what what it does it takes it absorbs the energy and takes it to ground now from what i understand or a dowser that i talked to that has just passed recently there are energy lines from mother earth that goes up through and apparently uh, these energies <coughs> by cell towers and the energies in the air is what is happening. The cell towers magnifies the energies in the earth created by man. And so this is how it can become very strong and very putrid to me anyways. And it, it, uh, it affected us very significantly.